Hi, welcome to Yoga and You. My name is Divya Rola. We are at 136.1 Yoga Studio. Today we are going to touch upon Surya Namaskaras. Surya Namaskar is one of the most important components of a yoga practice and a Surya Namaskar is mainly geared at warming your body up before you start the asana practice in class. Let me just start by defining what Surya Namaskar means. Surya is sun, Namaskara is salutation. So Surya Namaskar started as a prayer to the sun and a Surya Namaskar consists of 12 different postures which you string together. Each of the postures have very different benefits and the Surya Namaskar as a whole gives a phenomenal stretch to the whole body and no other exercise can compare to the kind of stretch the Surya Namaskar gives. Surya Namaskara is ideally done on an empty stomach and it's best done early in the morning or late in the evening just before dinner and if you have a lower back problem or high blood pressure please consult with your doctor before you start doing the Surya Namaskar. I have Sindhura with me to help demonstrate the Surya Namaskar. Like I said there are 12 different postures that compose the Surya Namaskar. I'm going to take you through each of these postures, help correct alignment and tell you the benefits of each of these postures. First make sure you're standing tall, your toes are pointing forward, your feet are parallel and directly below the hips. Roll your shoulders back, your chest is open, chin is parallel to the floor. Look at a point in front of you. Now breathe normally. Position 1 is your palms together in front of your chest, prayer position. Position 2, your arms are stretched up. First take the time to really stretch the arms, lengthening both sides of the body and then slightly arch back, making sure your head always remains in between your hands. Your knees are locked and now position 3, stretch all the way forward, try and get your back as flat as possible and come down. Place your palms on either side of your feet and drop your head down. Now in this position, make sure your knees are locked and make sure that all the weight is evenly distributed on your feet so that the weight is not entirely on your heels. Now fingers and toes in one straight line. Feet are together, your heels are together. Now six, first drop the knees down, allow the hips to stay up, bring the chest and chin down, elbows are close to the body, your chin is on the mat. Alternatively, you can also place your forehead on the mat. your hips up into the inverted V. Now the inverted V, your hips are up, once again your knees are locked, your heels should try and reach the ground but that's not essential, it depends from person to person and your head is in between your hands, top of the head trying to reach the mat and your chest trying to come towards the thighs. Now position 9. Bring the same right leg which you took back all the way forward. Place the chin up, knee down, foot flat. 
Now in this position, one of the most important things to remember is that your knee and ankle are in one straight line. Sometimes the knee goes all the way forward. This places a lot of stress on the knee. So always make sure the knee and ankle are in one line. Your palms are flat. Now bring the other leg forward and stretch all the way down. Drop your head down. And 11, stretch your arms forward and come back up and arch, head in between your hands. And 12, both palms by the side of your body and relax. So one round of Surya Namaskar comprises of these 12 postures done entirely on the right side and on the left side. So we just finished the right side, we'll go through the left side once again. One, palms together. Two, an arch. Three, stretch all the way forward and come down. Four, left leg back, chin up, hip down. Five, coming into a straight line. Drop the knees, chest, chin. Six. Seven, slide the body forward and arch, making sure those heels are together. Eight, tuck the toes coming into an inverted V. Nine, now bring the left leg all the way forward, chin up. Ten, bring the other leg forward, stretching down. Eleven, stretch forward and arch. And twelve, hands by the side of your body. I hope you enjoyed watching the show on uh, Suri Namaskaras. The Surya Namaskar is a very powerful pack practice and there's tremendous benefits in doing the Surya Namaskar. But if you do the Surya Namaskar with bad alignment, bad posture, the same Surya Namaskar can also be very harmful to your body. So make sure, watch this episode carefully, make sure you make all the alignment corrections I just made on Sindhura and do the Surya Namaskar right. In the next show, I'm going to talk about Surya Namaskar and breathing. And I'm going to show you how to breathe through the Surya Namaskar, taking your practice to the next level.